Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The distracted driving exercise was again successful. You'll see what went on and hear from one of the participants. And a new business opens in the city. We'll bring you to the ribbon cutting. Please enjoy City Happenings for the week of May 7th. Thanks, Mayor Black. The annual State of the County Conference is sponsored by the Sarpy Chamber of Commerce. Given the growth of both Papillion and Sarpy County, it's fitting that the Chamber would sponsor this event. When you think of infrastructure and working together and absorbing that growth, being ready for that growth, that's impact in public, it's impact in private, it's impact in schools and cities and counties and businesses and banks and, I mean, construction companies. And so just how does everybody kind of stay together? And I see that as one of the critical roles of the chamber is they facilitate a lot of those discussions and kind of get people out of their day to day and think cross industries and think long term. So I think they're uh, the prime group to facilitate something like this. The conference's relevancy is shown in one of this year's topics, the sewer south of the ridge line. If we can't cross that ridge line from a development perspective, our development on the south basically stops at Cape Heart Road. Um, Cape Heart North is about 40% of the county. That leaves 60% of the county that can't be developed. But if we can get that sewer infrastructure in place, Papillion's growth literally can go to the Platte River if you think 84th and 72nd. Um, and so specifically from Papillion, Central Sarpy um, is going to be the key to a lot of this growth. Mayor Black talks about the importance of both city council members and city staff attending State of the County for them is get out of the day-to-day, -day, get out of decision by decision and think long term. You start thinking uh, state of the county and sewer systems and things like that, that's a 30 to 50 year conversation that's going on. Um, so think long term. It also allows meeting many people with whom the city works. Contractors that come in and pull uh, permits, engineers that come in front of the city council, um, they can see them in the same environment and everybody's thinking long term. And I think it puts a good perspective together then when they come back and start making decisions, doing specific items, um, working on specific agenda items. Um, gives you a new context to put it in. Kind of puts the puzzle pieces together. There's also a benefit to the private community. The businesses, the engineers, the contractors. Um, a lot of people think of government as a bureaucracy. And I've got to go up to City Hall. Um, government's people. City Hall is a building with people in it. Well, if we can get those people over there and they get to start meeting them face to face, personal relationships, um, changes the whole dynamic of projects too. Mayor Black says the average resident does show up at the state of the county and it's important that they do. They are there. Um, I'd like to see more. Um, but I think, again, they get to see the economic, the people that are doing economic development in the community they get to see them, they get to meet them, um, they get to see how it works. And I think once uh, they start seeing that, they understand it's not politics. Um, it's people working together for the long-term good of the county, public and private, and they can actually be part of the conversation. This year's State of the County is set for Tuesday, May 22nd at Nebraska Christian College. The annual distracted driving exercise was held at Papillion La Vista South High School. It includes real-life situations, including a fatality. The real-life mother of the student who played the deceased student got a real-life experience while playing the part of the dead student's mother. It was very hard. It almost felt real in a way. And then I started thinking about how I would really feel if something like that happened. I would be devastated for anyone to have to go through this. It was, um, my heart's still pounding and my tears are actually real. Rochelle says so many think that they can drink a few beers and then drive or text while driving. You can't. And I've always told her, you know, sometimes you might go to a party thinking it's innocent and something might change. There might be alcohol. And I said, you know, even if you go there with someone and they're like, oh, I didn't have a drink. I don't care. You call me. I'm your parents. I will make sure you get home safely. We've heard it so many times, but it still rings true. Never get in a car after you've been at a party, whether you've drank or not, because you don't know if somebody slipped something in your drink, if you weren't even drinking alcohol. And then to drink alcohol and drive anywhere, it's not worth it. It's not worth a life. It's not worth going through this for anyone. 
Rochelle's daughter asked her mother to play the part of the deceased student's mother. What? Like, why would you volunteer for this part? Why would you want to put, you know, put me through this? And she's like, because I love you. And she felt it was important to send that message to her classmates and to other kids that drinking and driving, it, it, it's not worth it and it can happen and it's real. Despite the high emotions, Rochelle says the exercise is important. I think it's wonderful. Um, I think more schools should actually do it. Um, I think if it's filmed, it should be presented at all schools, at all levels. Because the sooner you teach kids that that's not what you do, you shouldn't drink and drive and how dangerous it is and how it really does affect people and people do die and it's real. Uh, I think the better, and especially when it's kids that they see in the hallway every day and then to see something happen to them this tragic, I think it's a, it should hit home, I would hope, so they don't do this, ever. Papillion welcomes a new business to Gold Coast Drive. Well, and Katie, on behalf of the mayor and the city of Papillion, we want to welcome you. We think you have a great location here, 90th and Highway 370, a lot of traffic, a lot of neighborhoods nearby. You cater to children, which is really something exciting for us in this area. Uh, you're, you're growing up those children for the new jobs in the future, and that's a great thing to see. So thank you for choosing us for your neighborhood to have your business in. We are very excited to have you here. Three, two, one. Yay! There's a great event coming up benefiting the Muscular Dystrophy Association and the Helmet and Shield Foundation. It's Papillion Fire versus Papillion and La Vista Police in a free will donation charity basketball game. The first ever matchup happens Friday, May 18th at Papillion La Vista South High Gym. Tip off, 7 p.m. Please attend the fun event and support a great cause. Stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. There are lots of ways. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.